Welcome back to Kids Invent Stuff. <laughs> Look at this it's arm, good. it's got bigger. The YouTube channel where we build inventions designed by kids. And in this video, we're bringing to life nine-year-old Nathan's phone-firing spy camera. Let's go! Kids Invent Stuff. Okay, so the main features of Spy Gadget. So I think the important thing is it has to look as much like the thing that you're hiding the gadget in as possible. So like in James Bond movies where they have like spiked umbrellas or flaming bagpipes. X-ray glasses. Exactly. So we have to make this look as much like a camera as is possible. To bring to life Nathan's invention, we're going to create a custom camera body that we can hide some foam inside and then fire out using some pressurised gas. And we're also going to include a night vision camera so we can spot bad guys even in the dark. So we've got our first prototype of our foam firing device. We've got our CO2 canister, our solenoid valve, our cut-off drinks bottle, and all we need to do is put some foam in our chamber and see if this high-pressured cylinder will fire it out. Test one. So we've got a battery and we're going to connect it to our solenoid valve and that should release the gas from our CO2 cylinder through our little chamber full of foam and we're going to see if that will fire out the foam. What could possibly go wrong? Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> okay, I mean it, it kind of fired the foam. Okay, so it definitely worked with our little CO2 cylinder over a short distance, but we're not sure how well it's going to work over a longer distance. So we're going to test it from over here to see what happens. Three, two, one. Mm. Didn't work as well that time. Okay, so we think we're going to have to redesign this and what we think is going wrong is that the high pressure CO2 gas that's in here is just forcing its way through the foam and it's not actually launching all the foam. So what we need to do is we need to take that high pressure gas and we need to mix it with our liquid, with our foam and then release what's in that chamber. And currently we can't do that with what we've made, so we're going to need a different way of firing out some foam. And luckily we have one of these, which is a chef's squirty cream dispenser, which we use for Annabelle's invention to stop fridge thieves. And it's powered by a gas canister. And when you press this button here, lots and lots of squirty cream is fired. So we think that we can modify this, mount it in our camera, so it'll fire out foam. <laughs> might work. So we've attached this pipe to our squirty cream dispenser and what will happen is when we lift our lens it will fire out our foam through the front of the camera. So they're building a spy camera but they were sent other inventions too including Grace's spy belt that fires out Silly string and foam, and also an invention that was sent in by Noah, who's six. Noah's invention is a boat, and the boat fires grappling hooks and nets to catch bad guys, but they won't catch me. So Nathan's camera is going to shoot foam, but it also needs to act like a real camera, because every spy gadget does the thing it's actually supposed to do. So we've got this little Raspberry Pi, which we're just setting up, We've got a little camera which links to the Raspberry Pi and we've got a display screen which will mean that the camera will actually not just look like a camera but actually be a camera. Now this isn't just an ordinary camera, this is a spy gadget. So we want the camera to work at night. So we've got this little infrared LED that we're going to mount next to the camera and when it gets dark that should switch on and it'll mean we have night vision. We've drawn a load of 3D panels on the computer that we are going to 3D print and mount onto our little frame to make our camera look like a real camera. So we need a way of making our cream dispenser look more like a camera. I just can't think of anything. Hmm. Mm.
So it's not the prettiest thing in the world in here, but we've got our Raspberry Pi, a battery to power it, a little switch to turn it on and off, and our little camera mounted. And we've got the end of our foam dispenser, and we've got a little screen mounted here on our back panel. That's gonna go onto the Raspberry Pi. So we will hopefully have a foam firing camera. And we need to trim the pipe as well. We're not gonna win any awards for camera design, but you would never know that this lens is in fact a pressurized foam container. So we've finished building Nathan's spy camera and all that's left to do now is to test it. Now, if you know of any kids whose invention should be brought to life, then send them to our website, which will appear on the screen below. And don't forget to join us next week when we'll be testing Nathan's invention. And a massive thank you to OK Do for sponsoring this invention challenge. When I'm building inventions for world domination, I buy everything on their website. See you next time. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.